Yeah. Here we have a lot of interesting questions. What is it? R cooled. Uh, how to deal with burnout? Um, as I was talking about, my main focus has been uh, a lot about um, being on the positive side of psychology, like making sure that you never get into burnout because mm. your workplace is so well functioning. But sometimes it can be hard to convince a company or workplace to actually work on that mental uh, psychological toothpaste, uh, toothbrush, or <laughs> go to the psychological gym and not wait yeah. for the burnout because we, we know that we will have burnout. Psychological flossing. Most people exactly. do toothbrushing, but it's flossing that exactly. is the problem. Exactly. We ah. need the flossing. We yeah. need the, but um, to say something about dealing with um, burnout, I would say that a common metaphor uh, is a medical uh, metaphor. So yeah. it can easily feel like, oh, I've gotten a disease. Mm -hmm. How do I get rid of, rid of a disease? Mm. Well, I um, stop working, I stay at home. Mm. And you can feel this also in like depression or, yeah. or stuff like that. But something feels bad. Mm. Uh, how do I deal with this? Well, I have to rest. Mm. Now, the tricky part here is that psychological problems are not like other medical problems. Mm. You can't rest them away necessarily. Exactly. And we've talked a lot about uh, feedback and how feedback comes from other mm. humans. And let's say depression, for yeah. instance. Depression, I think, is easier to think in context. And depression... Um, what do you mean by context? What do I mean in context? Yeah. Um, depression can be viewed as deprivation of the positive consequences that you get in your life. Mm. For instance, if you get depressed when you're in quarantine or yeah. working from home, why is that? Well, you don't have the coffee chat with your pals, you yeah. don't meet your friends and you take away all this positive yeah. um, stuff from your life, then you're deprived. Yeah. Now that is not a medical virus that you get into your uh, body, yeah. it's some lack of context, ah, it's I lack see. of uh, situations or, or a team or something around you. And that's mm. why I think that the psychological perspective is so important to see out outside of the body. Yeah, it's more like, like bad habits of not drinking water. Uh, the yeah, and also like, are you um, in a context that um, encourages drinking water? Yeah. Or are you in a bar where it encourages ah. you to drink beer? Are you at home? That context will encourage different things. Jesus, like the, the view, like pathology is a very bad way of viewing, like it's a very bad analogy for viewing mental health, really. It, it, it has some problems. I, I mean, I, I appreciate it because it has been important in the way of destigmatizing uh, psychological problems, like, sure. oh, I, I, uh, I should also... Yeah, um, fair enough, but it's a little bit, it's, it has, it's, it's a, but it's still like an analogy that is so problematic. It's similar mm. to in, in software, we had these huge problems for many years that people used buildings as an analogy for mm. software development. That's why we are called, like, they call people architects. Oh, and right, right, right. And it's so bad, mm. like it, because software has like the unique property that you can constantly keep changing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A building is like, it goes there and if it falls down, people die. Mm. Software is not like that. It's like you can change it multiple times per day mm. and deploy new versions, roll it out to uh, a billion people. Uh, and if something changes, like nobody dies. Mm, it's mm. very rare that you yeah, yeah, you're yeah. building software like that. The, the uh, metaphors are very powerful, <laughs> yeah. as you know, and, and it's like, oh shit, we use this metaphor, <laughs> is this uh, leading us astray? So uh, to answer the question on burnout, um, oh, <laughs> someone, how to prevent burnout or yeah. how to deal with burnout, um, to first uh, answer the question of dealing with burnout, uh, you need to then slowly increase uh, your um, activities of uh, working so that you're matching the level of difficulty with the level of uh, mm. your resources. Uh, wow. So instead of like resting into it, you need to see that, okay, right now my uh, the difficulty level is too high, I need yeah. to lower it, maybe just get to work. Yeah. Like, uh, get up in the morning and be at work. Say hello to your colleagues. Um, be there full hours. Mm. Uh, like start small. Be there some hours. Yeah. Go lunching with c colleagues. 
and then expanding, expanding, expanding. Like think of burnout as a tough video game where you have to really start at the uh, easiest level and then g going yeah. all all the way up until you are at max level. Uh, a common problem is if you are like. Um, on medical leave, it's like, yeah. oh, I'm burnout. Then I have two weeks uh, where I'm at home, and then I get back to yeah, work, yeah, and again. then you're like full, full on again, and that's like, <laughs> uh, but like it's ca catastrophic. But for um, for me, like burnout has been very little related to like I had. I'm, I'm slowly coming back from a semi burnout situation, mm. and I found that like for me, like I was not overworked at all. Like it wasn't mm. like I was basically just I was. My weeks were like procrastinating for four uh, for four days on making a video, mm -hmm. and then uh, procrastinating even more and making it on Sunday. Mm. Um, and I just didn't want to do it. Uh, I, I just wasn't feeling it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and for me, uh, it was basically just being s caught. I felt trapped in this prison of yeah. my own. Like yeah. I had to like. I had an audience that expected some stuff, and then I had sponsors mm. expecting some stuff, mm. and I started like also thinking like I optimized for like these things, and it was just uh, like and it wasn't until I just started going back to just doing whatever the fuck I wanted, mm. which took surprisingly long to do because I've gotten I've lost that muscle. Mm. So for me, it was like sitting down, actually thinking like, what do I actually feel like doing? What mm. would be fun? Because I, 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 I didn't ask myself that. Mm -hmm. But um, that's a very good question to like mm. constantly remind you of like what is my rewards? Yeah. Like what is meaningful for me? What is my positive consequences? Hello. Hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, if you like Oscar, you should follow him at Psychologen Oscar on Twitter and reach out to him. Uh, and uh, if you enjoy these topics, uh, do consider joining our little Discord. <laughs> Not so little Discord, actually. I think we're 1,400 members now. Uh, and jumping into the On The Job channel, or the self-care channel, maybe, and have a chat with us. It's a very warm, uh, nice and active atmosphere where we provide each other a lot of uh, help and support. So please consider joining the Fun Fun family. It's completely free to join, just go to funfun.chat to sign up. Um, and also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Educative.io. Uh, they uh, provide these amazing interactive text-based uh, uh, courses on a wealth of topics, like React, Docker, uh, data science, uh, like you name it, there's so much. Do check them out. Go to Educative.io slash funfunfunction, that lets them know that you came from here and that Fun Fun Function is good for them to support. Uh, and it also gives you a little bit of, uh, of a discount on their, on their subscription, which is reasonably priced as it is. Uh, so please check them out, Educative I hope. Uh, or maybe you just prefer to keep watching some videos. Then check out this one.